Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 9. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so today we are starting off uh, with this Dodge Charger 440RT. Uh, we are going to be doing the American Muscle Championship next, which has one race in it. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to chuck in a couple of performance parts. We're going to put in Sports ECU. Look at the horsepower on this thing, though. We're obviously going to chuck in, like, extra parts of everything. Then we're also going to do probably an engine rebuild um, to squeeze some extra horsepower out of it. Um, because it is a used car, so it will need the engine rebuild and all that stuff. Uh, installation complete. Um, let's go down to exhaust. We could get that done. Now, I don't imagine you would be able to fit a uh, turbocharger kit with this. Um, but it's worth a try. Part cannot be fitted. Supercharger can be fitted, and that squeezes it up to 518 brake horsepower. I think I'm going to do it just because I can. Um, and it's always good to upgrade cars because these things are cool um and then we're gonna go for sports soft suffer from low durability mm. i feel like mediums might be better because these are obviously high performance tires uh high performance cars um so i think that is our charger done we're just gonna go uh sort out the oil and stuff like that now I love the groovy music in this game. Um, I've actually ordered uh, a Gran Turismo, uh, Gran Turismo 6 for when we finish this game, which is going to be really fun to do. Oh, here we go. Look at that car, though. That is a beautiful car. That is stunning. I love it. So much. Oh, it is such a nice car. Um, so I have a feeling. Oh, there are aero parts, and they're all criminal. You, if you put any of these on, you're breaking the law. Um, right, let's go back. Uh, overhaul engine is going to cost twenty-two thousand, but it's going to be worth it. Here we go, the comedy show with the waving the arms. Gosh, the noises. There we go. That is looking very good. I'm actually going to have a double check how much horsepower this car now produces. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be quite a lot. Um, because obviously we had 513 before we even did the oil change or the um, engine overhaul. So I'm expecting a lot of power out of this. Um, here we go. Classic Muscle Car Championship. And I've just completely skipped it. Right, so the Dodge, we're actually going to be driving this one in Panther Pink. We now have actually managed to squeeze 573 brake horsepower out of this car. And just look at that. That looks absolutely stunning. Done in. Right, so we are here at Monza. Each of the laps are 3.6 miles, so we're doing a 10.8 mile drive. Um, so, oh, you can actually do a tune in here. So we've got, yeah, 573 brake horsepower. That's not the menu I wanted to go in, though. This is the one I wanted to go in. So today, what we're actually doing is we're going to be driving in a, a manual transmission. Um, instead of automatic. Obviously, the last eight episodes have been automatic gearboxes. So, we're going to be taking manual for this one. Hopefully, it doesn't go too bad. Oh, oh look at that. Oh. Uh, that may be a problem. We've only got uh, four gears, so... Oh, listen to that. 
We could have swapped the gearbox out, to be honest. I mean, look. We're already at max speed, and the car is... Nowhere near its max. That would be so annoying. Nice, right. Shift it down to second. Perfect. Look at the backfire from this thing. Just look when I shift down. You can actually hear it as well. Obviously, the car is sort of maxing out at 126 because of the gearbox. Um, but if we put in an extended gearbox with an extra gear, I think we could easily get 160 miles an hour out of this thing. Oh! Very wide round there. Let's see, does this car actually know it doesn't have a mapped interior? Right, slowing down into third, coming around this corner. Very wide around the outside for that one. Nice, onto the main straight now. Two minutes and. Oh, no, that's not the finish line yet. There we go. Two minutes and 18.953 for the first lap. I have a feeling, yeah, the slowing factor is that gearbox, and it's slowing down how fast this car can actually take laps. Oh, that engine, though. I love a good old classic car. I love, I love all cars, but I've sort of the past like year or so classic cars have sort of started growing on me and I do like classic cars like classic muscle cars as well are some of my favorites but any form of classic car like obviously there are classic cars that I wish ever existed um but classic cars are growing on me. Like, my dream car is a classic car. It is... Well, is it... I, I wouldn't know. Let me know in the comments whether you think uh, a Nissan Skyline R34 is a classic car yet or not. Um, because it's definitely in the future. In, like, 20 years, it will definitely be a classic car. But is it a classic car now is the question. Um, I would say it is because, obviously, it's a nice car. And it needs to be like preserved or worse. But what what do you guys think? Uh, we've just hit the four minute mark for total time. And onto the brakes. Nice. Tires on the inside are losing grip. Um, oh! There are cars behind. They're actually quite close. We've been miles ahead, though, if um, the gearbox wasn't a problem. Easily. Dropping it down to second for this first corner, first chicane. Probably could have pushed those two gear changes more into the red zone, but I feel like it's just pointless. The car accelerates quick enough anyways. It has 573 horsepower. I think it's got enough power to get pull away from the line. This is the most powerful car we've driven so far. And it is also the slowest in terms of top speed. Wow. 
Not quite, there are slower. The Yaris was pretty slow. Here we go, nice. I think the next race as well, we're going to be using another classic car, which is going to be awesome too. Right. And I think I will learn my lesson because I think the next car will probably, if I do the same thing again, bumping it up with loads of power, it's going to need a better gearbox. Like this, as soon as this is done, I'm swapping this out with a six speed. I don't care. I'm putting a six speed gearbox in a chat in a charger which should be criminal but I don't think Gran Turismo works any other way I don't think you can extend the gear ratio that far there we go I forgot to shift up actually nearly could have cost me the race but we have made it through across the line 2 minutes 13.051 that was the best time out of all of them there that is very good that is a very good time how much money did we get for that only 12,000 as well and I spent at least 100,000 on that car but it was well worth it it was worth it like definitely in fact it was so worth it I'm saving that replay because that was a nice drive. Right, so for the next championship, we can actually take the Dodge Challenger. So what... Oh, Charger. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to chuck on a couple of... Uh, we're going to put a twin plate on, which is good. And a semi-racing flywheel, because why not? Um, I don't think we need any of those. But we definitely need to go into the transmission and put... Oh... Okay, so we can put a five speed. Can we put fully? Yeah, we can. I think that might be good. I'm guessing the five speed. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be too much of a problem. Um, and suspension. We might need some more suspension. Um, has a lower ride height than standard suspension yes okay let's go with that a lower ride height is always better um i think that should be good then uh yeah that should be good hopefully um because obviously I was going to buy another car, but I thought actually it would save me money if I just tried using this. Um, so we are going on to the Supercar Nostalgia Cup, which I was going to use a Ferrari GTB or something, um, which would have cost me like 150000 So we're sticking with this one and going to the Rome circuit first. Right, so we are here at Rome. We're going to be starting the first race, which is three laps. And if you look at the driver lineup, We've got some really interesting vehicles. So we've got the 512BB that I was mentioning. That's what I was hinting at. Um, but we've also got a Lamborghini Miura P400. Two of those, actually. Uh, a Corvette Stingray. So we're in place with that. And another Corvette Stingray as well. Two Interceptors. Um, and I think three Countaches as well. No, two Countaches. So we are looking very good for this race. Right, so hopefully we have fixed the gearbox problem because we had, oh, that seems so much better. So we had, um, the max speed was like 120 in the old gearbox, um, but we have turned it into a fully adjustable one now. And I think I've got the speed just right that allows us to hit around about 150 miles an hour. The tuning in this game is very weird. I will say that now. Um, 
but as much as it is weird, I love this game. It is awesome. You can hear that supercharger. And there we go. We're into 142 miles an hour on that straight there. I'm also having to remember to shift as well, because I'm not used to doing, like, automatic gearboxes all the time. Those pops. I love downshifting in this game. It's the only game where downshifting has that satisfaction. It's like, pop. Every single time. Right, let's actually see how much speed we can get out of this thing. One, four, six miles an hour before the grip just wasn't there. Nice. The uh, right rear tyre was getting a little bit hot through that corner. With that extra tyre wear going on. Oh, shifted down one too many gears there. Awesome. We do have a car right behind us. It looks to be a Lamborghini Miura. Awesome. Oh no, I'm looking at the recommended gear as well, but it's obviously when it's flashing, it's that corner you should be in the gear. This is sort of a new game mechanic for me as well. Um, sort of getting used to this. It shouldn't take too long to get used to though. Again, as soon as I finish playing uh, Gran Turismo 5 once that series done, we are going straight over to Gran Turismo 6. Um, so we will literally go straight to back to beginnings again. I do love playing older games. I don't know why. It's just so cool coming back to an older game. Here we go. Yeah, it is definitely a Lamborghini Miura behind us. Oh! A lot of tyre wear on the inside there. Cross the line, finish. Look at that. To be fair, the car was sort of, it's not, for a car that has nearly 600 horsepower, it's not the quickest. But that doesn't matter, it's still such a nice drive. And on to the next race. Right, so we are here at Suzuka. This track is 3.61 miles long. And we have a very long straight, which allows us to check the top speed of this car. Uh, and it is 10.83 miles that we are going to be driving in total today. Here we go. Charger, do us proud. Go. So we're going to be shifting at a around about 6,000 RPM for most of this race. Oh, managed to get a little bit stuck on the car there. No, 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 that's not fair. Right, let's try and get back into the race. No, come on. Perfect. 
Perfect. Let's get past this Ferrari now. Just squeezing through there, behind this Countach. in my way. They're out of my way now. Oh, brakes. Brakes. Here we go. There is a Miura quite far up ahead, so we've got a lot of distance to cover. We're gonna have to lift off the accelerator through that section. Whoa! Completely messed that corner up. Oh gosh, we're all the way at the back of the pack now. Time to regain all those positions. Going in way too hard through those corners. Dropping it down to second. Definitely cutting the corner through there. Squeezing past the Ferrari. I think that was a Ferrari. We got a Lamborghini Countach up ahead. Fifty. We got the 160 that we were aiming for. Right, let's squeeze past the Kuntash here. Nice. Back into fourth position. Hopefully we can get ourselves back up into first place. Squeezing past, come on. Oh, we've made contact with the Countach there. We've gone very wide here as well. We need to try and sort of, this car isn't great at cornering. I will admit that. But it's worth it. It's a challenger, charger, charger, I'm sorry. Charger and it is a nice one at that. The amount of traction control with this car though. Right, let's try and not mess this corner up now. Perfect. Dropping it down into third. Squeezing past the Countach. And we've got the two Lamborghini Miuras obviously at the front. The Lamborghini Miura was a overpowered car over its time. Let's go. Right. Slowing down here. For some reason, wants me to stay in fourth, I would have said third would have been a better gear. Right, but our rear tyres are getting very tired. Haha, <laughs> funny pun. Um, the tyre wear, they are very hot, so they are wearing out very quick. Perfect. Right, 
onto the brakes again. We've obviously got more tyre heat, so there's smoke coming from the rear of the car like crazy at the moment. Then again, we are sending 600 horsepower into just street tyres. For 600 horsepower, we should be using racing tyres. But we aren't. We chose not to. And I still think it was a good choice not to, because I think it would be too expensive. Literally all of these races are just the cost of the set of tyres. The car itself has still cost me a lot of money. end of this car. Oh, I forgot to shift. <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. I can't lose. I can't lose that at that corner. Otherwise, it would lose me the race. Perfect. Slowing back down. The tyres haven't got a bit of wear on them yet, though. I don't think um, I don't think we have tire wear on for GT mode, so I may have to turn that on. Because um, I think that's sort of part of the experience as well, is having the tire wear. Perfect. Very wide. Awesome. And finish. A 736.0. We were 0 0.6 seconds ahead of second place. That is insane. 14 thousand credits thank you very much and on to the next race right so we are here on the laguna seca raceway this is a 2.24 mile track and this is actually my favorite racetrack all because of the corkscrew section honestly it's one of the best sections of any racetrack that i have ever driven let's go all right merging and you're just going nowhere, so uh, we'll overtake you, crash into you, accidentally. Right, slowing down into second gear for the first hairpin corner. Right, and slow in into second, perfect. Onto the brakes, nice. Right, coming up to the corkscrew now. One of the most famous sections of track I think anyone will recognize. And there we go, through the corkscrew. That part, when you get it right and you get the flow and the corner just nailed. It's almost satisfying driving down there. It's like, oh yeah, I've just hit all of the right spots there. I think that is the only corner as well that we will ever hit first gear in this car. We're looking at 150 for the first lap, so... Into second. Miura has gone wide, which gives us a chance to sneak in on the inside, and he's gone wide again. Perfect. 
Ah, uh, that little slide at the rear there. Perfect. down to third for the corner before the corkscrew. Coming up the hill. And corkscrew time. And we've messed the line up. Awesome. I would say if... Um, oh, very wide there. If... Um, Laguna Seca is my first. I would definitely say my second favourite goes to... Um, is it Panama? Mount Panama? Panorama? I'm not actually sure what the actual track's called. Um, but it is... It's a good track. It's the one where you go have the, very, the two very long straights. And then you've got the very narrow section towards the top of like the mountain. Uh, whatever that track is called, let me know. But it is my favourite. Or my second favourite. Here we go. Shifting it down into second for this corner here. Nice. Brakes. Third gear. Awesome. Down to second. Nice. Perfect. Speed is key. Messed up the line once again. Perfect. Nice. On to the final straight and fastest lap for us? No, not quite. We did get 5.11.174 and we were three and a half seconds ahead of second place there. Three and a half seconds, that's a lot of time. And there we go, 226,000 at level 14. That is looking at very good for the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.